good day. This is my video presentation about in Animal Science 43. First topic is boiler. Overview of boiler industry. Global production of broiler meat has been growing since the 1960s faster than that of any other meat. In recent years, this growth has occurred in developing countries. Broiler meat is a popular because it is cheaper, more var versatile, and is perceived to give more health benefits than red meat. In spite of these advantages, the world, the world broiler industry increasingly faces pressure to improve its production methods. With consumers and government citing health, environment and animal welfare as the areas of improvement demand outlook is positive for the Philippine broiler industry because of the continuing growth in population and household income in the country. However, faces fits from cheaper import as a result of its higher cost of production and its less efficient marketing system. To compete, the Philippine broiler industry must aim for more efficient systems of productions and marketing, and the government must provide an environment conductive to productively improvements. Breeding flocks. A large breeding flock established under the classic model will have 50 females and 5 10 breeding males. From such numbers, separate breeding lines can be maintained, multiple small matings can be tried. Term side matings and overall all flock vigor is more easily maintained. The tra traditional hatching season for producing baby chicks for sale and for flock replacement is mid-January through, through mid-June. Exhibition breeders with large size or more elaborate, elaborately feathered breeds might start hatching as early as December of the year before. Most begin the task of putting together breeding pens in the weeks between the two major holidays at the end of the year. Different breeds Cornish Cruises Cornish Cruises the most common type of broiler isn't an actual breed, but it is a cross of the white rock and Cornish chickens. Male Cornish white rock crosses weigh about 4.5 pounds by the age of 6 weeks. If kept, if kept around 5 weeks longer, the weigh in at about 9.5 pounds. Female of this cross, known as Cornish game hens, grow more slowly, weighing approximately 2.5 pounds and at 5 weeks old. Like other white feathered meat birds, their carcasses don't have discolored areas on their skin because of feather growth. Reed broilers. Reed broilers or label rug don't mature as fast as the cornel crosses. It takes them twice as long, 12 weeks, to reach market size. Males mature at about 7 pounds and the females at 5 pounds. If you want to raise broilers outdoors instead of in an indoor facility, broiler, red broiler make a good choice. As their name implies, these birds have feathering of various shades of red and some, and some have dark tails. Hens produce large brown eggs but won't go broody. That means you must incubate and fertilize eggs if you want to raise another red broiler generation.
Delaware Broilers. Delaware Broilers developed in 1940s. Delaware chickens resulted from crossing Rudel Island red hens with bared Plymouth rock rosters. As one time, delivers were widely used in the broiler industry, but the livestock conservancy, conservancy, which monitors rare breeds, now lists them threaten the Delaware's white bodies sport black bearing on their needs and tails. Males mature early, tipping the scales at eight pounds. Hens are smaller at 6 pounds, unlike some other broiler breeds, Delaware are also useful for small-scale egg production. Other breeds Other breeds or type of broiler chicken are generally Cornish crosses. You can find these chicks for sale in the large-scale hatcheries across the country. A relatively new breed in the Rosambro. A chicken resembling a red broiler with faster growth. Expect our expect our some some bro to mature between the ages of eight to ten weeks. Other common meat breeds don't grow quickly as broilers. Yeah. Broiler housing facilities. The first requirements of requirement of bro, growing broiler is adequate housing. Because broiler production is adequate, is essentially a chick brooding operation, the house should contain equipment so that such factors are as temperature, moisture, air quality, light can be controlled easily. It should also provide for long efficient installation and operation of brooding, feeding, watering, and other equipment. All broiler companies require buildings with insulated roofs, side walls, and end walls. Control over temperature, ventilation, and air movement is necessary. Broiler houses should have planned air inlets, exhaust fans, heaters, and evaporative cooling system, thermostats, and timers to provide environmental control. Houses should be capable of maintaining appropriate temperatures during the entire growing cycle. Regardless of outside temperature, colder climates require additional insulation, whereas proper air speed becomes crucial in a hot environment. The leaf production manager of the broiler company can provide information concerning broiler house designs, housing requirements, and equipment recommendations. Again, it is essential to have approval from the broiler firm before you before you breed. Most broiler houses are built 40 feet wide. Houses 40 feet wide usually have two lines of lighting fix fixtures arranged so all area of the floor are lighted. Place low wattage bulbs 8 to 10 feet above the floor to provide 0 0.5 to 1.0 foot candle of the light at bird level. Broiler feeding and nutrition. A broiler chicken should be feed high protein complete feed. Purina meat bird feed with 22% protein contains targeted amino acids to support rapid growth and health and help broiler chickens reach market weight efficiently all 38 unique nutrients meat birds need each day at the proper levels are included in the bag no need supplement broiler chicken essentials broiler chickens are unique uniquely breed for fast growth and finish and the most popular breeds are the Cornish Rock and Cornish Cross. These breeds are great at converting feed into muscle weight. Typically, they are raised to approximately 6 pounds and, uh, and processed between 6 and 8 weeks of age. Heritage breeds are also popular but take about 16 weeks to reach harvest. 
Here are week by week boiler needs. Week 1 to 3. During this time, follow similar management to layer chicks. Provide 2 to 4 inches of feeder space and up to 2 square feet of floor space per chick. Cover the brooder floor with 3 to 4 inches of litter for absorption such as pine shavings. This keeps birds warm and channels their energy into growing. Wait for processing. Move broilers to a heated crop coop to provide more space. Provide 6 to 10 inches of feeders space and at least 4 square feet of space for chicken. If free-ranging birds offer 5 to 10 square feet of outdoor space per bird, reduce stress and the rest of disease transmission. Consider lightening of your coop to increase feed consumption. 140 watt bulb hung about six feet above above the chicks is needed for each 200 square feet of pin space. Always keep food and water in front of the birds while they are growing. Meat birds are not as agile as they mature. Clean the brooder and cook daily. More often than you would with layer beds. What to feed broiler chickens? Broiler chick can triple Broiler chick can triple their hatch weight in the first 7 days and gain as much 1.5 to 2 pounds in the last week. Broilers should be fed as protein diet to help support this rapid Purina meat bird feed includes 22% protein to support fast growth. All, all 38 unique pro, pro, nutrients boilers need every day. A proper calcium to phosphorus ratio of 2 is to 1 to help keep birds healthy and, may, and mobile antioxidants and probiotics. For digestive, digestive health, a crumble formula like Purina meat bird feed is easier to eat and digest. On average, each bird will consume around 10 pounds of feed during the first 6 weeks. They will eat between 3 and 4 pounds of feed a week. After 6 weeks, they may be small but they are voracious eaters. Brooding Brooding is a period immediately after the hatch when special care and attention is given to chicks to support their health and survival. A recently hatched chick has not yet developed their own mechanism to regulate its own body temperature hence. It cannot maintain its body temperature properly for these weeks and its subject to chilling in the in winter session when extra heat is not provided from externally therefore the chicks will not take required feeds and water and this will decrease the growth and improper development of internal organs responsible for digestions those the chick will not be able to, dig to digest the yolk completely. Harvesting Mechanical harvesting is less influenced by light, weight, and outdoor temperature. The tested harvesting machine can reduce stress if well adjusted and conducted. The abdomen technique should be pre preferred over Inverted manual catching techniques. Stress induced behavioral reactions of broilers increase the risk of lesions. Biosecurity. 
In general, we can say that biosecurity constitutes of three major components. First is the isolation, second is the traffic control, and lastly, the sanitation. Isolation refers to the con confinement of animals within a controlled environment. A poultry house will keep your birds in, but it also keeps unwanted visitors out. If your birds have outdoor access, it is also important that you are fencing that can guarantee the aforementioned. Isolation also applies to the practice of isolating your sick birds from the healthy birds to prevent further spreading of disease. Don't forget to separate your bird by each groups. In many poultry operations, all-in and all-out management is applied, which allows simultaneous depopulation of facilities between flocks. It allows time for periodic cleanup and disinfection which is often neglected. Traffic control is not only about the supply of birds and goods, but also about the visits of people to your farm and the traffic patterns within the farm. Sanitation addresses the cleaning and disinfection materials. Equipment and people entering the farm and the clean may working on the farm. That's all. Thank you.